I've been playing guitar and I've been playing in Every Time I Die for 20 years now. I've been all over the earth and I've sweat gallons of sweat. <laughs> I am sweating right now. One of the hardest snowballs that you can get involved in when you're in a band playing music is like the quest for, t I guess, tone. I hate the word tone, but you start playing something that has sick gain, and then you realize you just start keep searching, keep searching, keep searching, and then 20 years later, you literally end up with the exact same thing you pretty much started with, which is totally stripped down Marshall 800 or whatever. You know what I mean? Like, but in that quest of 20 years. You've tried every single amp, cabinet, speaker, pedal, string, pickup. In my 20 years of, of playing, I've used every brand of pickup I, I can possibly think of. And I sweat pickups out. And uh, yeah, and it's just, that's the quest for me. Like, is this pickup gonna sweat out in this tour? Am I gonna have to change it the next tour? I don't know. Now I'm here and it's, 20 years later, uh, I had a dude, Ken Susie, that I've known my entire life in this world, and he tried to sell me on some like computer chip pickup thing, <laughs> and I was like, ah, whatever, I'll give it a shot, he's my guy. And now it's been 10 tours or something like that, and I have the same pickups in my guitar, I haven't changed a thing, still not having any problems with it. The biggest difference that I notice, any other pickup that's kind of like hot, when you roll off on like the volume, it like kind of still stays kind of hot until whatever, like you have so much response on that pickup where like if you want to roll off and get completely clean, you can have like chimey cleans and then roll back on and you're just full bore back to where you were, like gain, it's insane. And it doesn't matter what amp it is, like you just get, it's just a clean, you know, the pickup itself is just so clean. You can hear everything. When you're playing, even with like a, like a high gain amp, when you play like a full chord, you hear every single string. And like, that's an insane thing. And then to give you like the option of like, hey, here's a single foil sound. Okay, cool. There's like a whole spectrum of different pickups. There's something in there that you need. When we're on tour or we're like in the studio, you can get away with like using, obviously, because no one's really seeing you play, a classic guitar when you have like a guitar endorsement and then like when a photographer comes in you like pull like the you know your endorsement guitar out if anyone knows me in this world i have like an insane guitar collection everything i have every kind of guitar possible when you like go in i just kept going back to the guitars with fishman in it. and we recorded with will putney who like he was another dude that kind of sold me on the pickups where he had been using them for a while and like he was just like yo just give these a shot, blah, blah, blah. And I think when we first, I think I got those the week before we started recording the new record and it was just, yeah, it's like I said, been ever since. Um, yeah, and then obviously like everybody wants to ask questions. Like they come up, oh, are those fish pins? Yeah, yeah, yeah. There's really no like coils in them or anything like that. I'm just like, yeah, it's kind of like, just like a chip thing and <laughs> whatever. I'm like the worst about describing that stuff. And, but then like, if you put it in their hands, like we have, bands on this tour that are like they're using hm2s you know what i mean like like the hm2 pedals this gross sound or whatever that sounds great for you know, in context of this thing and then they plug that in and they're like i can hear like different frequencies that like i wasn't hearing before you have to play them like i that's it i think it's like like that was what ken was like trying to sell me on like the entire time it's just like just play it just play it i'll send you one just play it and finally like i put one in and it's like all right, I get it. That's the biggest, like, you just have to hear it. Like, you know, and you put it in your hands. Don't like have a guy like play it and then you stand there and like listen to it. Like put it in your hands, see how your hands react to the pickup. I guarantee you're gonna buy it.